all right folks welcome back to the channel jay here we're going to continue on in our uh, outdoor wood boiler shutdown series today's video shout out goes to my good buddy moderator and good channel friend shane um shane is a true warrior who keeps his outdoor wood boiler he's got the same model as me he runs his all year long god bless you pal <laughs> because i could not maintain that all year so today's video goes to you shane appreciate you buddy uh, anyways if you're all just joining us here i highly recommend you check out the last video where we did the cleaning that was pretty cool we had flames blowing everywhere literally it was about probably 100 something degrees standing in front of this machine so anyways today we're going to talk about plumbing shutting down all the valves which is a really quick uh simple process so anyways uh let's get right into it All right, so literally picking up where our video, last video left off, we started cleaning this machine at a buck fifty. Um, it is now one seventy six. So we we heated up three hundred or so gallons, twenty six degrees with all nothing but cardboard. So, anyways, what we're gonna do is since that fire is pretty much all done, we're gonna shut uh, we're gonna shut our door. We're gonna shut that, and then what we're gonna do is is we're gonna start talking about valves. All right, so this is the plumbing of the boiler. This is where the PEX comes in, runs through the heat exchanger. As you just saw, we shut off the breaker, which shuts off the pump at the boiler. We're gonna shut off this heat exchanger, and then we, we are going to close these valves here. Now, what with this pump off and these valves shut, this heat exchanger is no longer running, it's no longer circulating, it's no longer transferring the water from the outdoor boiler. Um, throughout the house so this is off this is off pump is off now our heat exchanger is separated we are going to have to start this back up when we do our water flush which will be coming up uh in a future video all right i am sorry about the lighting here but these are our heating zones we have master bedroom tv room our in-law apartment um, the upstairs bedrooms the great room we have an extra zone here we have our water tank then we have our floor grid um, what we're going to do is see our little switches here we're gonna put this, we leave our floor grid on, so this constantly just circulates, but now since obviously the heating season's over, we're gonna put this back on automatic, which will go again, which will go by the thermostat, and we're gonna shut the uh, thermostats off. Uh, obviously, we're gonna leave our water tank on, but the rest of our heating zones, the thermostats are now off upstairs, so these won't call for heat unless we need it. So yes. That's pretty much that. This is the only circuit we leave open during the winter time um, is the radiant floor grid and then the heat in the other side of this room here. So we obviously don't need that, so we shut it off. So let's go back out to the boiler and wrap up. All right, as you can see, all powered down. Our damper is gonna be shut. The one last thing you wanna do uh, is just unplug your circulator pump here. That way, if anybody goes downstairs and turns that breaker on by accident, uh, you won't be circulating uh, any water. The worst thing you'll do is just open the uh, front damper door. All right, so that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. Um, shut the valving off. You want to isolate your heat exchanger. Um, close all that valves. Uh, we leave a couple open, like I said, during the heating season because this machine puts out so much heat. Heat. Uh, remember to unplug your pump on the side of the machine. And once this machine completely cools down, probably tomorrow or so, we'll get the vacuum, we'll clean out the uh, ashes, and then we will start cleaning the inside. So this again is part two of the shutdown series. I just wanna make, I wanted to separate these uh, just so you could see. So yeah, just to wrap up, like I said, uh, turn your heat exchanger pump off, turn the circulator off, turn the breaker off to the machine, and then shut all your valves and isolate it. Um, so that way, when the boiler kicks on in the house, if we need it, or you're not run, you're not trying to back heat, back fill, back heat, whatever you want to say. You're not trying to run power out to the machine that's not running. So that's pretty much it. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for part three. And like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.